project. We got the cold smoker built. Well, a cold smoke generator. Now I got this little, I got the big barrel. But I got this little barrel. Put it, get ready to condition it. Yeah, I'm about to burn it. Get some, just in case any kind of residue in it. To burn it out. And I can see some right there. You know what it is. We don't want no problems. Man, that's burning tanny nyas on me. <laughs> All right, we gonna get this little condition going. Whiskey chips left. I'm gonna add a little seasoning to this dude. <clears throat> Got old hickory log. Oof. So we're gonna add a little bit of seasoning to him. <clears throat> gonna put this cap on. Hey fast. Alright. So that seasoning I just threw in there is gonna help put a little taste to it. All at the same time as we're burning off the impurities. Yeah. Smells good. This the other we got there here. High heat. Color gonna be. This is the other pieces. Guess it, that go to cold smoke generator. Y'all saw that in another video. It's gonna attach to that barrel right there. These are the other pieces that's gonna go on this Frankenstein grill. Well, now the grill is gonna be a smoker. I can cook it too, cause it's gonna be gas. Like I said, this thing here suppose that's gonna a little bitty gas tank, but I'm gonna use my full size tank. Hell, I can even use that tank. But let's get to it. I guess I can start with these racks. I'm going to have to actually give it a little snipping for it to fit in now. Yeah, now they put the legs on. Where's my legs at? How about these joints here? For the legs, I don't even know what these things is. But they going to make perfect legs. Then I'm going to take these casters. These went to my trailer that I put together a while back on another video. But I didn't want that. That's for folding up. I'm gonna put them on that too. It's gonna actually get a little more height, and I'll be able to roll it at the same time. All right, we got the cold smoke generator attached to it. Got a drain hole put in the bottom. Getting ready to pop a little handle on it, and uh, don't know what else. We'll see when it get here. Stop fan. Damn. Look at it. There it is. I can't show you performing right now. I'm gonna show you when I, when I show it performing, it's gonna be cooking. See, because that. Yeah, that. This little end right here. Take a small, small hose. That take a bigger hose. So, what I got ain't, ain't matching up. So, uh, 
you didn't see me building it all, but I kind of explained it and everything. You see my little legs. Is just there's a car from a gas smoke generator to the side with its pump. There's the old green barrel. There's the somebody calling me. I answer them in. Y'all, let me know this call right quick. Yeah. Got my little temperature gauge on here. The hardest thing about this is open it because it's pretty. Let me put my foot on here. It's pretty. Yeah. Voila. See how that rack's held up? That. They removable all the way down. Just in case I want to put something big right here. Like a turkey or something. Under there is my gas. That baffling is for what I explained it for a long time ago. Ah, here we go. That's it. Homemade smoker with a smoke generator. Attached to it, gas. We don't need no wood. We don't need no fire. No, we need fire. We don't need no uh, wood. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I did say wood. We don't need no wood. We don't need no charcoal. We don't need no lighter fluid. All we need to do is hook the gas to it. Put the cold smoke to it. Boom. You got wood smoke, whatever flavor you want. People say I don't. I don't like gas. You're using the gas as a temperature control. You ain't got to worry about putting coals out and everything and, and, and lighting them. You just cut your gas on. Got high, medium, low right here. Yep. And whatever flavor, like I said, you want hickory, mesquite, you want cherry, you want maple, you want apple, you want whiskey barrel, you want oak, whatever floats your boat. Put a little, you can put wood pellets in there, you can put wood chips in there. You put wood chunks. Just got to get them around that little Venturi tube. And you good to roll. <laughs> but we're going to see it working one day. You know, it's just out my head kind of thing. So I don't know. It may not work. It may flunk. But trying is half the better. I couldn't. Oh, shit. Come on, phone. Come on, phone. Well. 343, I couldn't wait. Where we at? A little over 150. I'm going to see what the temperature get up to. 343, y'all. Be back. Look at these country folks. Now that's country's all get out. Can't nobody hear y'all. Well... I kind of screwed up. I don't know how, Aww. but it's up to 200. It went up to 200 a while ago, but I had to start fooling with it because the fire blew out. So it went up to 200 within, I say, a minute or two. Oh, like two minutes. It went up to like 200 degrees. But I just had to start it back over a while ago. I ain't going to cheat and say, oh, I did it and this and that. So it's like. Pretty much holding that 200 right now. So I guess 200 would it go to, which is great for smoking. That's like a little bit over, you know, so that's good. And that's 200 steady. We ain't got to worry about no hot spots, no all that junk. So one day we'll cook on it. Y'all.